Hey guys, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here. This is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. You can catch the EIA every day at 9 a.m. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys, I'm really excited about today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about breakers and fuses, and we're going to be dealing with overcurrent protection over the next few days. I may make a few videos and then come back and make a few more. It's a huge subject, and I want to talk to you about all the different things that we could you know, face and run into, and really, this is a super practical knowledge, and I want to talk to you about it. Let's get to it. All right, so we're in 240, and that's going to be our overcurrent protection article in the NEC. Today, we're going to be dealing with small conductors. So this is when you're dealing with small conductors, 14, 12, and 10 gauge. 240.4D requires certain gauge conductors to be protected by designated overcurrent device sizes, and we're going to talk about that now. Now, today, we're going to be dealing only with copper conductors. If you do run into aluminum conductors, you could come back to 240.4D, and you can read what to do on those respective conductors. Okay, so when we're dealing with 14 gauge wire, regardless if it's Romex, THHN, THW, and it doesn't matter, unless we're using some of the exceptions that we're going to talk about in just a little bit, you're going to be required to have that on no more than a 15 amp breaker. 14 gauge wire, 15 amp breaker, unless we're using some of the exceptions that we're going to talk about in a little bit. 12 gauge wire is limited to a 20 amp breaker. A 10 gauge wire is limited to a 30 amp breaker. So now let's talk about some of those exceptions. So if you're doing tap conductors, that's gonna be one of the exceptions that may or may not allow you to put it on a larger breaker. Let's talk about the other one. Anything that's listed in table 240.4G, which includes ACs, uh, AC, you know, air conditioners, motors, and different other applications, any of those things that are listed, what you're going to do is you're going to go to that specific article and follow that article's prescription for sizing overcurrent, which may or may not allow you to do larger than what is prescribed here for these certain size conductors. So remember, 14 gauge wire, 15 amp breaker. 12 gauge wire, 20 amp breaker, 10 gauge wire on a 30 amp breaker. I'm the Electrical Code Coach. This is the Electricians in Action. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys, so that's the Electricians in Action for today. I hope you guys have a great day. Before we get off, if these videos are helping you, adding value to you, inspiring you, motivating you, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Guys, I just want to see you win. Remember, the only way that you lose is if you quit. Let's go out here and get them today. Fight the good fight. Let's get to it.